A co-worker describes Spencer as a real go-getter. Today is Spencer's day off, however, so he's a bit more chill than usual. His belly is full of raw quail meat and he's feeling too heavy to work. But he's agreed, nonetheless, to leave the comfort of his Palmdale aviary where he lives with his brother, Shady, to meet the times for an interview on the plaza of the new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Spencer is a trained Harris Hawk, and his job is to fly above the museum and its gleaming glass dome to ward off pigeons that could nest inside the open-air terrace or mar the new landmark with poop. His efforts are appreciated now more than ever, as the Academy Museum readies to open on September 30. The museum has just undergone an intensive, five-week building cleaning, with all one, 500 glass panels on its dome scrubbed for the premiere. Today, Spencer has brought along his trainer, Lindsay Banger. Falconry-based bird abatement, she says, is a natural, non-toxic form of pest management. It's more humane than setting out poisons and spikes on surfaces, and it's more effective than hanging streamers or fake owls to scare off birds. Banger, a falconer for almost 12 years, is a subcontractor through the Hawk Pros, which provides falconry services throughout the western U.S. The company has a contract with the Academy Museum to fly Spencer eight times a month, twice a week on average, for up to two hours each outing. When he started in 2017, Spencer visited three or four times a week because the pigeon problem was more serious. As Binger explains this, Spencer sits upright on her gloved wrist, anklets attached to a leash on his lower legs and a leather hood over his head to keep him calm. His pointy yellow and black feet jerks left to right as he takes in the conversation. The practice of falconry-based bird abatement is not uncommon in places such as vineyards, where a flock of blackbirds can wipe out a harvest of grapes in a week, and landfills, which are brimming with trash that's enticing to seagulls. But over the past decade, it's become a growing practice in more densely commercial areas, such as malls and office buildings. And, apparently, museums. Another of Spencer's gigs. Flying over the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, next door to the Academy Museum a job he's held since 2017, in order to keep pigeons and seagulls away from the museum's outdoor eating areas. Lockley used to have a big problem, Banger says. The seagulls would drag trash up to the roof and pit at the roof itself, pulling material off, and pigeons would go under the canopies. But this was years ago, another hawk was at Lachma before Spencer. It's under control now. The Academy Museum, meanwhile, had developed a problem with pigeons even as it was under construction. In 2017 pigeons were roosting inside its Saban building, the former 1939 May Company building, while it was undergoing a major renovation, 